Hey everybody, good day. Hey, I got a little package in the mail uh, yesterday. Came shipped from the United Kingdom. It says fragile, fragile. What could it be? Hmm, what could it be? Heinbach, old sons. It's a micro cassette album from Lavender Sweep Records. Yes, that's right. I have a micro cassette album from Heinbach. How cool is that? I don't know if you guys know who Heinbach is, but he is an electronic musician based out of Germany, and I've loved his channel for a while now. And he uh, has a really interesting skill set in taking atmospheric and environmental sounds recorded on things like dictaphones, micro cassette recorders, that he will slow down in playback and run him through all kinds of signal processors, synthesizers, effects machines, and he makes really fun, interesting, moody, atmospheric music. He also uses a, a wide variety of like electronic test equipment to create synthesizer kind of electronic sounds, and that's really fun. So it started out as a crowdsourced project by some of his viewers, and I'm looking forward to listening to it, and I have here, my micro cassette player that I think I'm going to put the batteries in. It's always a good idea to leave the batteries out of these machines if you're not using them. Okay. Side A. Now, watching a recent video of Heinbach, he's recommended what you might want to do with this album is set your micro cassette recorder to the slower speed and play it at the slower speed. And then run it into your own synthesizer equipment if you have it. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and listen to the rest of this album, probably put on some headphones, and just to pick up the whole ambiance of this work. And uh, I'm excited about this idea of micro cassette experimental electronic music. And this, according to Heinbach, this is not going to be the only album. There will be a whole series of these micro cassette albums coming out. So this is kind of exciting. I'm going to enjoy this. Okay. I have a mono to stereo adapter. Pop that into here. Okay. It's interesting though, listening to micro cassette music obviously you have a limited dynamic range and obviously you have tape hiss and that's part of the format that's part of the experience and i kind of think it's like small format film photography like the the background hiss the tape hiss is equivalent to film grain and Maybe the limited dynamic range of the music is equivalent to shooting on black and white photo paper instead of panchromatic film. It's kind of like pinhole photography with small format paper negatives, if, if that's an analogy you can relate to. That, that's certainly interesting. And it reminds me that, you know, you could be listening to these kinds of sounds on the highest format imaginable and you wouldn't necessarily get anything more out of the experience uh, you could argue that the tape hiss and the limited dynamic range might be like a veiling effect that keeps you from fully seeing the the true information there like looking through a dirty window out into some scene beyond 
and perhaps that's valid. But nevertheless, I think if there's something strong in there, if there's some strong content in that music, it's going to come through regardless of the, uh, of the format and all that. So I, I really kind of like the idea that Heinbach has done here of embracing the format of microcassette, which is really interesting. So if you're not familiar with microcassette, it is a small format originally intended for like dictaphone machines. The width of the tape is the same as compact cassette, what we call full-size cassette tapes, but it's monaural. And this particular tape is 30 minutes on a side, so it's a 60-minute tape. You have the same length as a regular cassette, if you will. But it's monaural, and there's no technology like Dolby or anything like that. It's just uh, what it is. And most of these micro cassette players, like this one I'm using, is a realistic Micro 51. This was uh, marketed by Radio Shack back in the days. Uh, there's no tone controls, bass or treble controls. Basically, the dynamic range is equivalent to voice. It's like telephony, right? Telephone quality audio, I would say. But uh, it's a very interesting format. And, you know, it's been said that a lot of times when you impose artistic limitations upon some creative endeavor that it forces the artist to become more creative and work around those limitations and it really is interesting how atmospheric this music still is uh, even with the limitations of micro cassette involved so I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this some more So not only are there artistic limitations placed upon the artist in creating this work, but there's a challenge presented to the listener in listening to it. Because of the tape hiss and the limited dynamic range, you have to uh, listen a little harder, listen a little bit more carefully to hear what's going on, to hear all the atmospheric and sound effects going on. And I think it makes for a more concentrated listening experience it's a little more focused a little more purposeful in listening to this and after a while most of those artifacts of the low-end format end up dissolving into the background and you just hear the music which is what it's supposed to be of course I also like the formats of tape in general I like the idea that a tape is a linear play sequence I like the fact that when I press stop on the machine in the middle of the tape, it's exactly there. I can take the tape out, I can put it on the shelf or in a drawer, and I can pull it back out sometime later, stick it back in the machine, press play, and it'll take off from exactly where I left off at. I like that linear feature of it. And I certainly like the small diminutive size of these little cassettes and their little boxes. Printed on the uh, J sheet here, the J card inside the, the tape cassette, it says, This was made with fantastic sounds sent to me by many. Thank you for the inspiration. And it has the website www.lavendersweeprecords.com. That was Heinbach's note. So this was a crowdsourced project. He had many of his viewers of his channel on YouTube sent him their own electronic music, and he took that and engineered it into this album, which is fantastic. So included with this Old Sons album is a digital download code. It's nice to have the digital download of the music, but I think really the beauty of this album is the fact that listening to it on microcassette itself is part of the experience. It's not just a veil of noise and limited dynamic range, but that all that becomes part of the experience. It's, it's part of the soundscape. And that's why it's important to listen to this on microcassette. There were some tracks on this album that were especially good. I think I like the second side really well, especially 
the first track on the second side, Storm Cloud Techniques. It was really good, and there are some tones that work really well on micro cassette. There's probably some engineering in this genre of music to optimize the music for micro cassette, fitting the tones within the limited dynamic range of micro cassette, the limited frequency response, and then accentuating the highs. And he's done a really good job with this. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, this is this is something special. So this is my little mini review of Old Sons by Heinbach on Lavender Sweep Records. And this is the first of a series of micro cassette electronic music albums. Really love this, looking forward to more. And it's really something special in the year 2019 to have this. Well done, Heinbach. Mm -hmm.